Hello, it's Chrissy here. Um, some customers have been asking how to brand the videos to their own business details. So I'm going to do this video to show you one way of branding the videos with your company details with um, a lower third on the bottom and also filling in the space that we've left at the end of the videos for your actual contact details. And the first method is by using YouTube annotations. So I've uploaded one of the videos to a YouTube channel. And once it's uploaded, you uh, click on the link to get yourself to the page where you can actually watch the video. And then underneath the video, you'll see there's icons. And if you hover over them, it tells you what they are. And the one we're interested in is annotations. So we click on annotations and you can see the videos loaded in the annotations tab now and underneath it we've got a timeline so what we want to do is we click on add annotation if we click on this little drop down arrow you get a choice of whether you want a speech bubble a note a title a spotlight or a label for us what we're mainly interested in is the notes and the titles the notes give you smaller uh, text sizes and the title gives you larger text sizes. So because we're going to be doing like a lower third at the very bottom of the video, first off, we'll click on the note. And you can see there in the timeline, it's put the little note annotation and it's also appeared here in the top left hand corner of the video. And it's fairly small at the moment, um, but what we do is we click in this text box here and we type in what we want the note to be. So for example, you might want to put your website address here. And this little note, you can change the size of it because you can see some of it um, the actual web address is missing at the moment. So if you drag on these little corner nodes, you can extend the size down and across as needed. Well, that's the maximum that is at the moment. For me, that's a little bit small. So I would change the text by coming down here and I'd probably go with about 16. And then what you want to do is you want to drag the annotation into position in the center of the video towards the bottom and across from the font size you've got this choice here as to whether you want black font or white font I'm just going to stick with white and here you can see the little paint bucket and at the moment it's sort of automatically defaulted to give you like a semi-transparent black background if you click on the drop down arrow you've got a choice you could choose to have a color for your background for your font if you want to um, or you have this semi-transparent black background and you can have a totally transparent background which I'm going to click on now and you can see that box disappears unless you hover over it so at the moment we've got the size of the annotation at 16 and I'm just going to pull that down a bit more and change the size so it sits more towards the bottom because we don't want it to actually interfere with the video. Example, if you wanted to change, make that web address bigger, you can change it to 28, but just bear in mind that you might have to increase the size of the box for it to show properly. We'll leave it at 28, that looks fine to me. Now what we need to do is with it being a lower third, you probably want um, that to appear on the video from start to finish. So we have to come down into the timeline and we hover over the edge of this little uh, timeline box and we wait till we see the arrow appear towards the right. We click and we can drag right to the end of the video. So now that annotation will appear throughout the video at the bottom of the uh, screen. So we'll, that's how you brand it with a lower third. Now, what we want to do now is move the playhead because we want to get towards the end of the video just to about where the call to action starts to come in. So you just have to move the playhead and you know bit by bit until you see that call to action there start to come in. Position it to where you want. 
Okay, so I'll leave it at that. And this is where we have left the space for your contact details. So now we need to add another annotation, but this time I'm going to make it a title because I want to be able to make the text bigger. So I click on title and you can see here it's made it bigger automatically and it's come in the middle of the screen rather than the notes where they come quite small in the top left hand corner. So again, we click in the text box and say, for example, we can type a name, Joe Blogs. Now that's way too big for my liking. So I'll come down here and I'll change it to 48. And I'm just going to move that up by clicking and dragging on it. And I want to put a phone number in. So I go back to the text box, hit return, and I put the phone number in. So you can see I've typed in the text box, but nothing has appeared here. That's because we need to extend the text box. We click on the nodes again and we drag out and down until the text comes in as it should be seen. Okay, so what I want to do now, I want this to appear to the end of the video. So again, like I did with the lower third, I click on the edge until the arrow appears and I drag to the end. Now that annotation will stay there until the end of the video. Now I'm going to add a third annotation. This time I'm going to make it another note. So it's come into the top left corner here. And this is what I'm going to use for the email address. So I'm dragging this into position in the text box again. And I'm going to type email joeblogs at yourwebsite.com. Okay, I'm going to change the text size to, I'll try 16 to start with, and I'll drag on the text box nodes to extend the size. For me, that's a little bit small, so I'm gonna change that now to 28. So you see it, some of the text has disappeared because the box is too small for it now. So we, again, we have to drag on the node and extend it out until the text appears as it should. And then you can just position that around. I'm going to come down to the paint bucket icon and I'm going to choose to have that as a totally transparent background. And then once again, I want to come to the annotation box on the timeline wait for the arrow to appear when I hover over it and drag it right to the end of the video. Okay, so we've now got the call to action which is embedded in the video. We've branded it with the name and the telephone number and we've branded it with the email address on that particular end part of the video. And we've done the um, lower third annotation with a website address that appears throughout the video. So this, this video is now branded. I'll just move this playhead back, click play. Okay, so I'm happy with that. And uh, once you're happy with everything, you can then go ahead and click publish. So that's saving your annotations and you can go back to just the normal video page and there we go there's your annotation let's move it along and that's the final branded video I hope that's helped out people who weren't sure how to do branding with YouTube annotations and uh, there are other ways of doing branding with Windows Movie Maker on a PC and with iMovie on a Mac. And there will be videos for that, uh, for demonstrations of how to do it with those two particular tools as well. Thank you.